All right, everybody. So what I'm going to show you today is how to download and install Jasp. So I'm going to move myself over to my desktop. I'm in the lower bottom corner now, and I'm going to open up the browser. And I'm just going to search for Jasp, J-A-S-P. So J-A-S-P. And what we see is the first option that comes up is Jasp, a fresh way to do statistics. So I click on that and pretty simple here. There's a download link or download link up in the um, top bar. I'm just going to click on the big orange download Jasp link. And now you've got a few different options. Windows 64 bit. That's what we'll, most of you will use on Windows. Um, there's a Mac OS link. We'll go through that in a second. Um, and then a Linux link if you're actually running Linux. So I'm going to just click on the Windows 64 bit. I know I'm running a 64 bit system. Most of you will be as well. And that should just download for me. So it started downloading. And what you'll do is then find your download wherever you've got your downloads to be set to save. So that would typically just be your downloads folder. Mine saves to my desktop. Okay, now that it's finished downloading, I go to my desktop, and here is JASP 0.14.1. I'm going to just double click on that. And then I'm just going to follow the installation prompts, and we should have JASP set up. We'll go through the basics of it um, next time. Now, I'll show you how to do this on Mac. So get ready, and poof. All right, now we're on Mac. So I'm going to throw myself up into the top corner because it's a little bit easier to see me here. But now, okay. So let's open up a browser. I'll use Chrome this time. And we're going to search for Jasp. And we're just going to do the same thing. So Jasp. Okay. Okay. Click on the first link that we see here. Jasp, a fresh way to do statistics. And I'm just going to click on the big orange download Jasp button. Okay, so Mac OS, I've got, this version is High Sierra. If you're running Catalina, you're going to want to click on this link. I'm running High Sierra. The way you can tell is by going up to your Apple icon in the corner, clicking on that, and clicking on About This Mac. This one, it tells you right off the bat here, Mac OS High Sierra. Great, okay, so I know I want to be using this one. For older versions, Sierra and before, use an older version as well. All right, so I'm going to click on Hi Sierra. So it should start downloading, and it will appear in my Downloads folder down here. Once it's finished, I'll start with you again. Okay, now that it's finished downloading, I'm just going to close up the browser, and I'm going to click on my downloads folder and see that JASP is in there. Pre Catalina. Great. I'm going to click on that. It should open up um, a file because it's a DMG or a disk image. And this is the type where we just grab the app and we drop it into the applications folder. It'll open that up. And we can see this one's a little friendlier. It shows JASP put it in applications. Okay done. So now we can close that. Oh, it's preparing to copy. It's just going to copy it over. Okay, now it's finished copying JASP over to Applications, and you can find it either in your Applications folder. We'll see her under. There it is, under JASP. Or if I click on Launchpad, it'll be there. So if I click on Applications, click on JASP, it'll launch the application. All right. So... I hope this has given you a little bit of information on how to install Jasp and we'll get into it in the next tutorial.